I just pulled up to this column in a commercial business. But if you look, look at that condenser sitting up there. That's on a roof. I think I gotta go work on that unit right there or the one behind it. But why is that sitting crooked? Very confused. We're gonna find out. Okay, now we are up on the roof. Let's check out uh, what's up with this crooked condenser. Oh yeah. Oh, that's a choice install right there. So <laughs> the disconnect's not even attached to anything. And Look at the wood, it's totally rotted out. I don't even know if they use that unit, honestly. But, you know, I'm going to make them aware of it. But originally what we're here for... I guess we had another tech out last year that said, uh... That we had a bad, bad condenser fan motor. I don't even know. Guy can't even remember what's up with this unit here. I got, what is this, 10 ton, 10 ton, two compressors, um, so right now we're going to, we're going to get, I got the thermostat disconnected downstairs, I want to be able to control it from here, uh, so I got my jumper wire for Y2 here, and uh, we will, get this thing started up and see what the heck's going on with it. He says it doesn't work, but we'll find out. Let's see if we got power first. We just set up here. I don't know what you can see. It's so dang bright up here. Let's see if we got some power. Breakers are on downstairs. So let's see what kind of party we got. 492, 491. Got power. So I got. So we'll, and these are cooling only, only units. We don't have, we don't have any gas hooked up to it, even though they're gas packs. We're only using these things for cooling. Have no demand for heat in this building at all. So let me prop you up over here. As you can see, can't see anything too well. So let's see if we can jump the cooling out and see what it does. Starting Y1. So we jumped the cooling out, and I got one fan, so I got to figure out where that other fan is going to, and I think, if I remember right, the fan is going to here. So I think on two of those units up there last year, I had a big condenser fan motor relay. So. I got power here, power here, out to the condenser fans. This is my common power right here. <clears throat> so
so that provides one leg here, one leg here, and here's my coil power up here. So let's see if I have voltage on both of those when I power it up. I don't really have a good place to put you. Horrible shot, horrible shot, but what am I going to do? I don't have a place to put you. So we'll jump it out again. And then uh, I'm going to take voltage. I'll take voltage on... Uh, well, I'll check my capacitor too, but I don't think it's a capacitor. But it could be wrong. Let's knock the power off. Let's check that capacitor really quick. So, here, here. So, we will check the capacitor. That's good. And that's good. So, our capacitor is good for our fans. I remember right, that's, that's at, that's at relay. So let's kind of get over here and see what's up. Let's see. I'm assuming that's going to be indoor fan motor. Nope, that's going to be an out outdoor fan bump. Me, I, I don't know. Let's see, where does she lay out on the schematic? Outdoor fan motor one, outdoor fan motor two. Um, and that comes back to there's the cap I just tested. Outdoor fan relay. There we go. So six is two, and two is one. Here's my main power coming in four and eight. So this is going to be my main power. So when it makes that relay makes, I'm going to put power to two and six. So we'll see if we got power in two and six when I start this up. Holy crap, I can't see. Okay. So, give it some power. Something's humming. Let's make sure I got everything connected. Alright, so I got it up and running. I'm going to see if I'm going to get voltage off this thing. So I got voltage to it. So it's not the fan relay. It's the actual that's a fan motor. Unless I got another wire not hooked up somewhere. Shut the power off to it. I don't know if that's fan motor one or fan motor two. So to kind of get an idea of what it is. I don't know. I gotta trace my wires back.
that first one is hooked up to six. First one's hooked up to six that we're in question on. So that would be outdoor fan motor two. So let me let me trace back the other wire. Holy crap, where'd that power come from? Where'd that power come from? I just got a shock, baby. Yeah, I got the I got the I got the disconnect off and I got buzzed. Where the heck did I get that power from? I don't even freaking know where that power came from. That's strange. Could have got it off. I don't know. Maybe I got it off the capacitor. I freaking don't know. Fucking around with these fans. Wow. Yeah, light, light up your life with that. So it's looking like I got a bad condenser fan motor on this one. I don't have any voltage anywhere. I just got a quick buzz. That's weird. Where did my power come in at? Right there. Hmm. This is 460. I didn't didn't feel like 460. I tell you that. It's just like a quick little reminder, hey, there's electricity in here. So right now we're looking at a bad condenser fan motor for this one. I do have my condenser fan motor runs to here, one side of the capacitor, and to this relay, and I have power on both here and here. Number six is in question, so I did have power there. What are these motors anyways? These are 460 quarter horse. 460 quarter horse. And just to make sure, two single phase. <clears throat> yeah, 460. So, I'm going to need a condenser fan motor for there. I might as well get the blade too because it's probably... Eh, no, I can get that blade off of there. Blade should be good. But, this is just a quick video uh, troubleshooting a condenser fan motor. Not a big deal. So, you just got to... I'm going to start it up one more time. I should... Nah, no... Because I know I got, I know I got power here. Because the other fan runs, the other common is right there. I know my capacitor's good. So yeah, it's a bad condenser fan motor. Just to be sure, let's do this. Let's try something. Let's change over the change over the terminals on the relay. We'll see if the other one starts. Let's check it out. Let's try that. Maybe I'm missing something. Just want to check yourself. That's on. That's on. Oh, 
Wow, that's amazing. The fan is running. The fan is running, but there's no call for cooling. The fan is running, no call for cooling. But it's the same fan that's running. Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Let's check our relay. Okay, sorry my camera overheated. It's not even hot on the roof. I don't know why. But, uh, when I left off, I had no call for cooling and that relay was stuck shut. So, now, if I turn it on, I still do have a bad condenser fan motor. So, I'm jumping out this. Now, I don't have any voltage on that relay, so... If I take this... And this, I'm trying to do this one hand, it ain't working. That's close. And that's close. So now, that's the outdoor fan motor relay. So this, right here. Ah, come on. That's still closed. This. It's open. So, in conjunction with my bad fan motor, I would have, I would have assumed that was good. But in conjunction with my bad fan motor, I got a bad outdoor fan relay. So, we are going to order these parts, and we'll come back and hopefully get video of it right on that's it for this one guys just quick diagnosis of uh, you know either a relay that's bad or an outdoor fan motor that's bad so we determined that the fan motor is bad along with the relay I would have never figured it out if I just didn't kind of switch it around to try to make the other one work so that's it for this one. Give me the thumbs up, and uh, I'll see you on the next one. Hopefully, it's replacing this condenser fan motor. See ya.